Hi, my name is Jarvis Hill. Uh, currently, I'm an engineer at National Instruments. Uh, and on my weekends, or my off time, I just like to get down with my bad self. So today, I would like to talk about this guy. No, not this guy. This guy. So, here's a small serial slash TTL camera board that was actually manufactured by Radio Shack. It takes JPEG images, uh, 640 pixels high by 480 pixels wide, uh, and also they're in color. So there's firmware embedded on a DSP chip in the back, which I will not get to or will not show you, and I can actually query or retrieve the images from buffers on the camera board using a Arduino Uno and then the images are written via are written to an SD card via an SD shield uh, manufactured by Seed Studios Inc. Switched it on ya! I have to wear the glasses for this part. So the firmware that's embedded on the Atmega 328 of the Uno board was developed in the Arduino development environment. Basically what the firmware does is it triggers the camera board to take images every seven seconds. Then it pulls those images from the camera board through the serial bus um, and stores them or writes those images to the SD card. Currently the SD card is in my MacBook. Um, and if we look at the screen, let me tilt it. Uh, you can see the SD card is named Project X, um, and there's about five images on there. So we're going to go ahead and delete these um, so I can show you proof that the images were actually written by the Arduino board. I've inserted the micro SD card into the Seed Studio SD card shield using an adapter. And what I'm gonna go ahead and do, as you can see the green light is on, so I'm gonna go ahead and reset the hardware that's being powered through this uh, USB cable that's actually hooked up to this AT&T cable box. <laughs> Pretty cool. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and reset it, and we're gonna see what happens. Uh, I'm gonna reset it, turn on the TV, and we're gonna see what happens. Oh yeah, by the way, the camera board uh, actually streams 640 by 480 composite video. Let's, a hard restart or power cycle. Um, I'm gonna plug it in. Green light is on. Board is getting power. Now we're gonna turn on the TV. I'm using a Sanyo. I didn't even know they still made those. Thanks, Auntie. Um, so you can see that I am moving. It is capturing me in real time. It is streaming video. But is it or what's going on? Oh, streaming oh, oh B boy oh streaming oh B boy oh wait. So every time that actually freezes is when an image is being uh, acquired by the Uno board. So I'm moving. So every seven seconds. So let's try it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. It's about every seven seconds. So, as you can see, the resolution's pretty good. Um, hopefully I'm capturing this. Uh, the resolution's pretty good. Take like a couple pictures. Get them. Get them. Get them. Get them. <laughs> So, as you can see, the video is actually pretty good, um, but the image capture is, is uh, it's okay. Um, just depends what you want to use this thing for. People really use it for surveillance um, or kind of to make a time lapse, uh, critter capture, 
and you can actually adjust some of the uh, frame capture settings in order to capture uh, or optimize um, the frame size to capture the critters you plan on capturing. Uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and eject the SD card from the SD shield. One cool thing is that though um, the SD card is not present, um, you can't see this, but the firmware actually air handles that and stops writing uh, files to the card, but it continues to stream video. So it's pretty cool. You can just use this hardware for a simple video hookup if you'd like. Let's look at the images that were captured. So it looks like 12 images were captured. Let me go ahead and open all of them. Um, okay, I'm gonna just scroll through them really quick. I think that was doing the setup. Got my elbow. So it looks like it captured most of the pictures, <laughs> um, and it's pretty good resolution. And this is taken with my camera, uh, my mobile camera, um, so um, I think it looks a lot better uh, if I wasn't recording it with my mobile phone. So, hey, oh, hey, works. Cheers. Uh, oh yeah, if there's any questions about what I did, anyone would like the source code um, or any help with the hardware that was used I am very open uh, I love open source uh, cheers